YouTube, what's going on? This is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. And this is a Galaxy Z Fold 5. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about why after using this iPhone 15 Pro Max for the last two months, I have officially come to the conclusion that I'm done with Apple. Let's talk about it. So, really and truly, it comes down to three things for me. Where I'm personally at in my life when it comes to the tech that I use, where I'm at in regards to what I choose to carry with me when I leave my house, and also just personal preference. I want to start with the personal preference by saying that for many years, for many years, the iPhone was comfort. The iPhone was always where I went back home to. I'd try out so many Android phones. When I tell you I have had so many Android phones, and I would always find a way to go back to the iPhone. That was just my thing. Always went back to the iPhone. But here lately, I have found myself not as interested in the iPhone. The iPhone has been a good phone, but otherwise it hasn't served any other purpose for me. It's been a good thing to make calls and text on. It's been really good for scrolling a few apps here and there. The cameras are obviously good. I'm not one of those people who reviews cameras, so if this is what you're looking for, this ain't it. These cameras are great, but in my mind, cameras on any smartphone right now are great, and that's budget, mid-tier, uh, flagship, whatever the case may be. But here's what's ruined the iPhone for me. It's the stagnation of Apple, and it's the continuing reinventing of the wheel that Apple does. And it's just kind of gotten to the point where it's bothering me. Apple has brought USB-C to the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now, bringing USB-C to the, to the iPhone 15 Pro Max, obviously, that's a great thing. Everybody wants USB-C. Everybody wanted to be able to have the same charger across the board. But now, what about all the lightning accessories that people have? Car, car chargers, car mounts, car adapters bedside clocks, nightstands, things like that. There are so many accessories that rely on lightning over the last 10 years. And what are we supposed to do with that? Now for a company that is so big on e-waste and so big on going green, what are we doing? Seriously, it's, it's, it's something that kind of bothers me because I feel like Apple is continuing to find ways to make things okay when in reality it's not. This is going to put a lot of people in a position where why upgrade knowing that you're not going to get a charger in the box. You're going to just get the cable. So now you get the cable. It may not work with what you already have. You have to go out and buy a bunch of new stuff. And personally, I just I just don't think USB-C is all the rave that everyone made it out to be. Am I happy that they have USB-C now? Of course, I'm not going to complain about it. But I just... Think about people like my family, people who have iPhones that have had them for multiple years and that think with their wallet that now when I go upgrade my new phone, all these things that I've spent the last several years buying are invalid. I think about those individuals. But the other thing, two other things that I mentioned, where I'm at with my tech, I'm at a point right now where as nice as this is, I need this to be able to do more. Yes, our smartphones are like computers in our pockets, but I need this to be able to do just a little bit more for me. I love the fact that calls are crystal clear. I love the fact that battery life is great. I love the fact that the cameras are great. Like I said, the screen is amazing, 120 hertz refresh rate. I love all of these things about the phone, but that's it. It's just a phone at the end of the day. It's just a smartphone. And for some people, that's enough. But for me and where I'm at when it comes to my tech, I have come to the realization that I need more. I desire more. As Mr. Mobile said in one of his videos, I require a certain level of novelty. And I've run from that for a long time. I've tried to, I've tried to convince myself that this is what I want, that this is all I need. I've tried to convince myself of that. But every single time I try to do that, I always end up running back to Android. I always end up wanting to have an Android in my pocket. When I switch to Android, it becomes my main device. And I always have a hard time changing back because of just how much I enjoy Android. So I've decided that what I carry out of the house has to be something that is more functional than just the phone. I'm not one of those people who has an EDC. I'm a truck driver, okay? I'm on the road five days a week and then I come home. 
when I'm at home, I want to be at home. I've been away from my house for five days. I want to be at the house for those two days that I'm at home. And I need something that I can take with me that does more than one thing. Sometimes I don't want to bring my computer with me because my computer is docked to my desk setup that I have here and it's really nice and sometimes I don't really like tinkering with it. Okay, I'm a real stickler for cable management. But there are other times where I wish this thing was a tablet. I wish this thing was an iPad. But then somebody will tell me, well, Tech King Mike, just go buy an iPad mini. Tech King Mike, just buy an iPad Pro. Tech King Mike, just use an iPad. I'll do you one better. I actually have an iPad, okay? This was given to me over the Thanksgiving holiday. So I actually have an iPad. And you know what? I don't want to carry this thing like that. I'm going to probably give this to my daughter because I don't want to keep track of multiple things. I don't like it anymore. I feel like I'm at an age and I'm at a point in my life where if my device that I carry in my pocket cannot serve more than one function, I don't feel comfortable carrying it. And so therefore, I'm going to be sticking with a foldable phone for the foreseeable future. Now, I'm going to put a whole other video out on this. And the reason being is because you guys saw the unboxing of the Z Fold 5. This is not the same fold. And I'm going to put a, I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in that video. But this video, we're focusing on the iPhone. And like I said, I need my phone to be able to do more. This thing is a phone when I need it to be. And then when I want it to be, it's a tablet for more functionality. It's the mini tablet that I want. I don't need a full size tablet. I don't need a pro tablet. That is enough. Pair that with the next doc, 360 next doc, touch screen that I can use Dex and it is enough. The reality of it is, is that the iPhone is a great tool for people who just need to call, text, and use their phone for cameras and for camera for purposes. But for those that require a certain level of pizzazz, a certain level of novelty, those who require a certain level of, man, I want this phone to make me feel like I paid good money for it and I'm getting something from it, the iPhone just does not do that for me anymore. The Apple Watch. I have an Apple Watch Ultra here. My Apple Watch Ultra in the same capacity. This watch was $800. Now, I use a military discount through my family, so obviously I didn't pay that much. But this $800 watch does nothing for me other than give me notifications on my wrist, track a few workouts here and there, and that's it. I never have an instance where my phone is not on me. I never have an instance where... The watch is a compass, so the watch is with me when I go diving. I don't know how to swim, so I ain't never got to worry about that. And I live in Florida. There are no mountains to hike. There is nothing that I'm doing here that requires this watch. And it's, it's a certain level of, well, I know somebody's going to say in the comments, well, Mike, why'd you buy it? Because I thought it's what I wanted. I thought it would complete the ecosystem. I thought it's what I would want. But here I find myself using this iPhone, using this Apple Watch, using these AirPods. And what I tend to notice is I want to spend more money on a charger that works for all three. Everyone knows a good charger for all three of these costs anywhere from 100 or more dollars. I find myself wanting to have cases to go with it. I want to have different bands to go with it. And before you know it, these three items that are a good chunk of money on their own, I'm spending more and more money trying to make it fun. I just don't want to do that anymore. You know, I just, I just don't want to do that anymore. So where does that leave me? Am I getting rid of this iPhone 15 Pro Max? I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm being 100% honest with you. I'm not 100% sure. Because while I know it's not the phone for me, I know that I don't want to get rid of it just yet. Because it is a tool. Like I said, the cameras on this thing are incredible. And for someone like me that's a content creator... You can't beat it. It beats taking this $2,000 full frame camera out of the house. So you can't beat having it on your person when you need those quick shots of something. But overall, it's a great phone. And if you're an Apple user and you don't care about anything like customization of your themes, you don't care about whether your phone can open or close, uh, you don't care anything about 
the Android world and you just want your phone to just work, you want to just make sure your blue bubbles do what they're supposed to do and you want to make sure that everything else is how you're told to do it, then hey, the iPhone 15 Pro Max is a great phone. It really is. But for Tech King Mike and where I'm at when it comes to my technology, I got to stick with foldable phones now. I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I have to. It feels like this is where technology is going. We are at a point right now where folds are in their infancy. This is only a five year, this is only the fifth generation for the Samsung. But look at what we've got. We've got the Pixel Fold came out this year. We've got the OnePlus Open, and I do want to get both of those phones. We have Oppo, Xiaomi, Huawei, Honor. We have so many manufacturers that are starting to jump on this folding phone bandwagon. Motorola, I'm sorry. We have all these phones. And this is the direction that I think phones are going. Turning into tools that serve more than one purpose. These folding phones are a minimalist dream. And as I've always tried to find a way to save money, as I've always tried to find a way to carry less when I leave the house, we live in a crazy world. I don't want to have that much on me if I can help it. As I've always tried to find a way to make my tech do more for me. The iPhone, which once felt like home and felt like the most comfortable thing to do, it just isn't it anymore for me. So... The iPhone 15 Pro Max, after two months of using it, has confirmed to me what I already knew. It's a great phone. And it's perfect for you. It might be perfect for someone else. But for me, it doesn't feel like home anymore. It doesn't give me that same satisfaction that I once had when it came to using an iPhone. And I'm okay with that. I'm actually really happy that I've come to this because I didn't want to continue to fall down a money pit or continue to fall down what I thought society or what I thought my friends or family or anyone else wanted to do. I'm glad that I've hit a point where you might say I've woken up or you might say I've opened up to new possibilities and to new ideas and to new excitement when it comes to what my tech can do for me. So, that's my two month review and my just rambling thoughts on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. And like I said, we got some talking to do about this fold because this isn't perfect. Samsung, I got some stuff I need to talk to you guys about. So stay tuned for that video. But in the meantime, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Tech King Mike. Peace.